It's a three space. I want that no. <laughs> Aubrey Scott Productions, a proud broadcaster in THX Picture and Sound where available. Hey peeps, we're back at the new Aubrey Scott Productions once again with some more Wheel of Fortune featuring Vanna White on the NES. In which so far, I have won myself $146,847 in cash and prizes. And there's just one bonus prize I have yet to win on this difficulty and it's the car, which I hope I get this game. And I'm being joined by Tenacious Lee once again. Happy to have him here. Happy Back to the Future Day. That's right, this is being... That's right, because this is being taped on the uh, anniversary of Back to the Future, the 30th anniversary. And the supposed invention of the hydrator, Pepsi Perfect, and the flying cars. Yep, which so far we've seen no flying cars this year. Or Pepsi Perfect given away as a regular thing. Exactly. But I can tell you this, our first round category is going to be a place. And the place is Back to the Future. Not really. <laughs> Although, I have, I have Pizza Hut for lunch with my Pepsi. Oh, nice. Oh, 300. Is there a T? No, there's not. So we move over to the next player. What kind of pizza did you have? It's a pepperoni pizza. Very I nice. I like green peppers because I don't like green peppers on my pizza. I don't like green peppers on my pizza either. I can tell you what I'm having for dinner, though. What did you have? Well, I'm going to be having pork chops, sweet potatoes, and green beans. Well, that's interesting to know. Oh, yeah. Very good dinner. And Leslie spins 150. The letter she calls is a W. Why the heck would you call that so early? Now, Martha called for a letter L, but there were none of those either. Oh, and I got to lose a turn. Uh, that's how the computer programs it. I know, and I just want to lose a turn, unfortunately. But to tell you the truth, better to land on a lose a turn than a bankrupt. 900 for Martha. Is there a K? Surprisingly enough, there are two of them. Oh, and actually, uh, just in case you didn't pay attention, more alert. I'm actually uh, wearing the shirt right now, so. Oh, you're wearing a Back to the Future shirt? Yeah. Nice. I'd be wearing. I didn't realize today would be the day. I'd be wearing one too, but unfortunately, I do not have one. That's alright. Yeah. The shirt I'm wearing though is colored green, and I'm wearing some red pajama pants. That's 450. Right. An R? <laughs> and there are two R's, yes. Okay, so far we have a couple of K's and a couple of R's, and Leslie has $900, and she will spin. In the wheel. And she just lost her money to a bankrupt. My turn. Now the money will go towards funding the cafe. Yes. <laughs> 200. <laughs> Is there an N? There we go. There are two N's. As in needles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> $400 and I will spin again. By one of the members of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Which member? Flea? Oh! And there goes my $400. I got a bankrupt as well. Martha. $800. An H? No. Leslie. Or better yet, anytime somebody lands on a bankrupt, Tim Zuna likes to say, Whammy! 
Free spin for Leslie. Let's see if she can get $200 cash. Is there a why? No, but you do have a free spin. And she's going to use it very smart. Real smart. That's really nice. 400. Do we have a V? No, and we're back over to me. Let's get some money back. There we go, 750. F. Yes, one F. Now I have a little bit of some money to play with. Come on, wheel. 150. C. There is Uno. That's one in Spanish. That's one in <laughs> Spanish. That is also not one in Portuguese. Yes. There we go. Three hundred. D. Yeah, one D. So that's gonna be twelve hundred dollars this round, and only vowels remain in the puzzle. So we uh, might as well go ahead and get this puzzle solved. Dunkirk, France. Duncan, France? Dunkirk, France. D-U-N-K-I-R-K. Oh, Dunkirk, France. Yeah, we oui, must hear. Imagine having a French dot pronunciation. We, oui, we oui, must hear. We oui, must hear. Dunkirk, do not. Ah, très, très bien. $1,200. Let's go to round two. The $2,500 space out there. And we're going to try to solve a person this time. Category is person, and we'll start things off with Martha. Spin the wheel. Yeah, yes, indeed. And you spot 450, Martha. Let's get a letter. S. Not bad. There's one. And a fine start. Keep it going, Martha. Just escaped uh, trouble and landed on 800 with an N, and she'll cash in on an N. There's one. And for those out there wondering how long I've owned this particular version of Wheel of Fortune on the NES, I've owned this copy since 2006. Interesting. Which I got at a game exchange store around that time. Oh, Martha got a loser. Actually, yeah? Actually, in Toronto, there are a lot of retro video game shops, which means that if you accidentally uh, lose a copy of one of your favorite Wheel of Fortune or Jeopardy games, I could just pick, pick up a copy and send you a new one. Oh, awesome. And Leslie calls for C for $300. There is no C, so we're back over to B. Oh, but I keep my Wheel of Fortune games under a tight maximum security, Lee. Right. 450. Is there a T? Yeah, Make one sure T. There are no punks wanting, wanting a copy away from you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll spin. You'd be surprised if they would be the same kind of punks that look like they're good friends of this. Yeah. And I land on a loser turn, so we're back over to Martha. Seeing that this is Back to the Future Day, we have to bring up a lot of Back to the Future references today. Which is fine with me. 250. R. Yep. Which is absolutely fine with me, Lee. I have no objections to that whatsoever. Great Scott. <laughs> Great Scott. 250. Do we have a G? No. So we're going over to Leslie. <laughs> 200, Leslie. An L? No, my turn. I have $450. I'll be right back. I'm going to get myself a Diet Coke. Okay. Uh, I, I drank my Pepsi already, that, and that's the only one I got. Right on. And I just landed on... Yeah, I'm still endorsing Pepsi for today. Alrighty, and I just landed on $2,500, called an H, and there was one. Four fifty. dollars Uh, Q. Yeah. Time to solve. Queen Esther. Just for the taste of it, Diet Coke. <sighs> Queen Esther is indeed the correct answer. 
And let's see how much that is now. $4,600 for the game so far. $3,500 based on the wheel for a third round. And we're looking for a phrase this time. And let's see, who starts off? Uh, Leslie, you get to start. So, spin the wheel. And Lee is back with his Diet Coke. Not really a Pepsi, I just got myself a Diet Coke. Very I'm nice. Not a caffeine free. Not a caffeine free? Because after you said that in the mid-50s, that waiter's gonna say, free? You're gonna pay for that darn Coke or Pepsi. Yep. If you want a Pepsi, you have to pay for it, kid. Oh, and I, and I got a bankrupt. I'd say, uh, $150 per, uh, box that I have in stock. And unfortunately, I spun a bankrupt, but the best part was, I didn't lose any money. Um, are you gonna order something? Uh, yeah, give me a tab. I can't run a tab unless you order. Okay, then give me a Pepsi free. You want a Pepsi? You have to pay for it, kid! Look, just give me something without any sugar in it, alright? Well, actually, the Diet Coke is sugarless. I know. I was reenacting the scene from Back to the Future. Yeah, but don't you think they'll, they'll feel a little confused because the, uh, the, everybody in the 50s had no idea what Pepsi Free meant by then. Pepsi yeah. Is actually the name of the caffeine free Pepsi. Okay. And I'll spit. I was the attacks of Gary earlier, and I found out that there's Crystal Pepsi. Yeah. 3,500! Which means that Crystal Pepsi is like Pepsi, except it looks nothing like Pepsi, but tastes exactly like Pepsi. Is there an N? So there are two N's, seven thousand dollars. So I thought, great Scott Marty, how can a Pepsi that doesn't look like Pepsi make it possible? Yeah, exactly. That's crazy. There are two, three A's in the puzzle, so I have just under seven thousand dollars left. I'll buy an E, uh, but there's no E, so I give up my turn for now. As we go to Martha. Well, that's all right. Besides, I wonder what, what Uncle Joey did uh, to keep himself in jail. I wonder too. There's one else. Right, I'm actually gonna go Google and find out. All right, you do that. Why did Uncle Joey go to jail? Five fifty. A, a J. J. York is not in the puzzle. Leslie. They confirmed that the offense is unknown. 200. The offense is unknown. A P? Yes, there is a P. Oh, I think I know what the solution is, but it is still Leslie's turn and only has $200, so she has to spin again. $700, Leslie. A D. No, my turn. Let's get that 3500 one more time. 250 Yep. M? Nobody knows why Uncle Joey went to jail. <laughs> I guess that explains why uh, the entire cake had to be eaten themselves. I know. <laughs> I'll spin. Baby C. Beautiful. There are three C's. Another ten thousand five hundred dollars. You know what? That is a good number. I have seventeen thousand two fifty. I'm not gonna risk spinning one more time. I'm gonna solve a criminal conspiracy. I know what conspiracy is because I was still talking about uh, Uncle Joey not being able to go to jail, not having to get out. <laughs> That's why I wanted to ask. All right. You know how long he was sentenced for? How long? 21850 Now, according to my research, as for, as for how long Uncle Joey was in jail for? Nobody knows. <laughs> we have a $5,000 space on the wheel for our fourth round. 500 I'll start things off by calling a T. I see. And I have one $500 T. Yep, so far for the game, Lee, I've won over $21,000 in cash, thanks to that $3,500 spin. Beautiful. And by the way... 900 Yeah? Um, when it comes to um, uh, video waiters in the cafe 80s, did we get such a thing? Uh, 
No. So, as for why it didn't come to fruition, Joy <laughs> I'll spin. I do, you love that source. <laughs> I do. Phew, 700. S? And there's one S, yeah. Nobody knows. <laughs> Okay, I will buy an A. One A? Okay. Still have $2,500 left. I'll spin. But, uh, Aubrey, did you actually mention in that planning to go on a road trip to New England uh, sometime in a couple weeks? Oh, yeah. And Lee's planning to take a trip to the New England area pretty soon, ladies and gentlemen. And that way I can get Hulu in the United States so I can watch obscure shows that I can't get anywhere else. That's right. 500. C. 1 C. 3600 now. And actually, they win one out of family. Oh, yeah. Oh, I gotta lose a turn, but we'll leave the money there. It might get back to me. Martha, your turn. If I land on $5,000, I know what letter I'm gonna call. Uh huh. Six hundred, Martha. N. Oh, and she stole the letter I was gonna call if I landed Excuse on five grand. Uh huh. There are four ends, but she has twenty four hundred instead of twenty thousand, so that's good. You have twenty four hundred, Martha. Eight hundred. K. Yeah. That's. Um. Oh, she's solving the puzzle. Great Scott Martin. And she got it. It's the Incredible Shrinking Man. But it's not enough for the win. Because I win with over $21,000. More than just uh, a, a, a ride on a hoverboard to make it back to the league. Yep. So I'm going to the bonus round for a chance to win another fabulous bonus prize. I'm going to go for the L. And I'll hope that the car is behind there, but if it's another one of the bonus prizes I've already won, that's fine too. Thing is the category. R, S, T, L, N, E. Only six letters up there. Uh, will Vanna give us any of those at all? Oh, half of them. That's nice. Alright, can I recommend the following three consonants? Uh, uh yeah, you I, can. Um, all L's been, been already used, so because of this, this will help complete the spelling. Uh, go for an M. Okay. A C. Two. A Y. And a vowel. A. Y M C A. But unfortunately, none of those are in the puzzle. However, despite okay. that, I, despite I, that, I the name of fly. despite that, I do know the solution. Sponge. So let's see, it's another bonus prize win, another bonus round win, is it a car, is it a different prize? Good. It's a car! A flying car? I wish! 32495 is the value of that car. So I won all five bonus prizes on easy difficulty, which means we go up a higher level next time, and Lee, you want to hear what the final total is for this game? Yes, go for it. 54345 dollars! Wow. Cash and prizes! This is actually from 1991, this game is. Oh, it's after Back to the Future. It's after Back to the Future 2's release. It is, yeah. But, all good. Now take a look at now take a listen to this total for five games. Two hundred one thousand one hundred ninety-two dollars. So join us next time for another edition of Video. Spaghettios. That's right, in which we're going to go up a higher level of difficulty the next time we do this particular wheel game. And we'll see you all next time, everybody. Don't forget to buy Pepsi Perfect if you can get one. <laughs>